Good morning guys. So today is Tuesday at around 10 a.m. I just woke up. I got to sleep in today, which I'm so thankful for. I feel like I could sleep forever though because I'm just so drained emotionally, physically, like anything you could think of. I'm tired. So I was supposed to have two shows today, but I got released from both. Released means pretty much I didn't need me, my outfit got released, whatever the case may be. Uh, I'm not doing the show anymore, which is sad, but it's fine. Um, I would, wouldn't be able to sleep in. <laughs> but um, I'm going to my agents, my, I'm going to Fusion around 11. I know it's like 10, 12, so I need to start getting ready. Um, my mom said I was so tired, I was snoring, and I don't snore unless I'm super duper tired. I ate breakfast this morning and then I fell right back to sleep. Anyways, yeah. But last night I was crying a lot, like having mental breakdowns um, while eating dinner. So, yeah, I was going to try and film if I was having one and just talk to you guys, but that, that's not like my first lot. It's like when I'm crying. I need the camera and like that's just like really annoying because like I'm in a very vulnerable situation I don't know but you guys didn't ask for it but <laughs> finished um this like sweating lymphatic drainage type thing you basically sit and watch netflix it's at the shape house and uh, yeah i've had a really rough day and i'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about it but i'm in my little outfit and i'm about to take a shower because i'm super sweaty like i have sweat this is gross so i'm gonna take a shower and um then my mom and I are gonna go home. Good morning, guys. So right now it is 6.44 and I'm going to yoga with my mama and Lauren and Alyssa, I think. Um, and then after we are heading to the bathhouse, um, which is like a sauna, hot tub type deal thing. It's like a spa house that where you just to get to go and sweat um, sweat everything out, so we're gonna do that, um, we're heading there now, so I'm scared because I didn't eat, like, right, like, normally I have to eat substantial food before, but I'll talk to you guys a little bit about everything later, um, but let's go to do some yoga. We just finished yoga. It was like hot yoga. It was um, called sculpt yoga. It was really nice. Um, now we're heading to the bathhouse. Um, how did yoga go, mom? It's very hard. Yeah, I know. Like you're dripping in sweat. Like all my clothes are wet. And, yeah, so but we're gonna go get some sauna on sweat more. <laughs> okay, so we're at the bathhouse, running a change. I'm pretty sure, I'm, yeah, there's like face wash and stuff. I'm using this, yeah. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so it is a bit later. We came back from the bathhouse and I took a three hour nap. Anyways, um, so we just got told that we could go home today, but sadly we cannot get picked up, which is kind of a good thing because we're still packing. Look, right now I'm packing everything um, in my little closet. I don't have everything, but I'm having everything I need. Um, this is all for Paris and Milan. All right, so basically I'm doing this diet because um, I need to lose my measurement because it's a 37 and needs to be down to like 36, 35. Um, so I need to lose it in five days. So I've been doing crazy workouts and anything to sweat and I'm eating really, really healthy and really clean. But um, it's been hard because I'm like, I, like, I feel hungry and like, I don't know. This is just tough, um, but yeah, I'm gonna stick to it and do this. I'm really nervous um, because I wanna get shows and I'm just nervous I'm not gonna lose it and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I cried for like three hours in Fusion yesterday because my measurement didn't change um, from the past like two weeks or so. So I was very like ashamed and just, I was just crying. And yesterday was a very rough day. Um, I had, like I was crying for like three hours straight. Yeah, I don't know. I'll talk to you guys more about it, I guess, maybe, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna take a bath, get ready for bed, go to bed, wake up and go home. And I'm really excited about it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys I don't know. I don't know. Good night. After New York, I was I was on an option to go to London, um, but that got released. So I came home and I got to spend Valentine's Day with Andres, which I was so thankful for um, to come home. But then, like as soon as I got home, I got a text message from my agent saying there was a job for Zara that was paying really good, and I was like. I was really upset because I was like, I just got home, like, I wanted to leave here, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, I was very upset. I cried because I literally just got home and then I was, like, told I needed to go straight back to New York. So I cried a lot, but finally made the decision that I was going to do the job and then just fly straight to Italy. It was so stressful, so uh, so Valentine's Day, right? Anjas and I like spend the whole night together. Um, he actually slept over, but we got home at like 12. And then I took a shower and everything. And by the time I actually fell asleep, it was probably like 1.30. I think we had to wake up at like 2.45 or something in order to leave by 3.00. Something like that, I don't even remember, but I literally did not have any sleep. So Andres and I slept in the back of the car because Andres was just gonna drive the car home because we can't have our car up in New York City. My mom and I drive up and back, like we don't fly because it's so much more money and just like, I don't know, I hate flying. I try to, you know, so. Um, it was so nice of Andres um, to drive up or to drive back for us. Um, so, so I didn't get any sleep. Then I had to work a full day, <laughs> and then I had to go straight on a flight to Italy. And then it was, oh my god! So then I was in Italy. Merci. No, that's a freak. What is it? <laughs> Ah, grazie. Grazie. <laughs> um, so then it was Italy. I love Milan. Milan, I had so much fun there. And I was so scared because, oh my god, why is my eye itching so bad? <laughs> I, was, I had so much fun in Italy. It was very nice there. It was like in the 60s. 
so it wasn't cold it was just so much fun and so warm and we ate like I was able to eat like I was like I'm not like I'm not gonna eat, just eat salads here like I want to try stuff so I I was able to eat some like um pasta and stuff like, I was very oh my god so um so in Italy my first show there was a numeral 21 n 21 number 21 I don't know um I really liked that show it, I felt very powerful like I felt like I really like worked my shit like I don't know I just I really enjoyed that show um yeah I loved my outfit I don't know I just really liked that show I don't know what else to say <laughs> So then after N21, then I opened my first show for Amano Servino. I did two looks. I opened the first look, which I love. I freaking love opening shows. It just felt so powerful. Like, I was like, hey. Like, I don't know. I love it so much. And um, I had two looks, and I loved both of them. And I just, I also felt super strong in this walk. Like, I just felt like I was like watch out like I love this walk so much I actually love all of my walks in Italy like I felt very powerful in um, Italy I don't know why I don't know I feel like each show has different vibes so um, yeah I felt super strong in that walk I loved it so much I had so much fun um, they had good catering too not all the shows have good catering <laughs> Um, so then after that was Dolce and Gabbana. I really loved my outfit for this show. It was so beautiful and I felt, I just felt sexy in this one. I was like, mm, mm. And the music was good. Like, I just loved everything about this show. I loved that I had red lips. Like, that was my first, like, red lip in a show and I loved it so much. When we were eating lunch, like, Oh my god, lipstick was just getting everywhere. I felt really bad, but I loved that show. Um, it's so weird because all these people, like, like all these famous people will be at these shows, like, watching. And then, like, I see that they're there, like, on, like, I'll look at, like, Dolce & Gabbana's Instagram or whatever. Like, who tagged the Dolce & Gabbana? And, like, I'll see Cameron Dallas was there and I'm like, I've watched him on YouTube for years or like just like all these different people like it's just crazy because I'm like I've watched you now you're watching me like it's just weird it's like a full circle I'm like why are you watching me <laughs> I'm like I'm supposed to be in bed watching you <laughs> I don't know but Italy was so much fun. Um, I loved it so much. Italy has a special place in my heart. Even though halfway through the week, the freaking coronavirus hit and I was so nervous. I was like, I was just like, we're gonna get stuck in Italy. And I was just so nervous. Um, I'm not sick as much as I'm like sneezing and stuff. That's just my cat. Um, yeah, I'm not sick. I don't have the coronavirus. <laughs> Um, but it was so much fun. A lot of people are scared to hire me because I've went to Italy. It's actually a huge problem. Um, like, people just don't want to mess with you. And I'm like, I'm doing my two weeks. Like, I have not left my house because my parents won't let me. They're like, not that you're sick, but we just don't want you to be, like, a carrier or anything. Like, it's so serious. Like, the doctor's office won't even see me to get checked for anything. Like, it's just so... Ugh. They're like, uh, no. Like, we don't want to mess with you, basically. And I'm like, alright, cool. <laughs> it's fine. I just... I'll die. It's fine. <laughs> Not that I have it, but... Not saying that I don't have it. <laughs> I just, like, I don't... I feel fine. That's why I'm saying I don't have it. So for the rest of this video, I have a bunch of clips that I didn't know where to put, so I'm going to be putting a little montage of Milan if you're interested. So make sure you keep on watching.
so much for watching that is it with this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure to like and subscribe especially subscribe if you want to see part three which is paris fashion week where i tell you all about my paris um adventures experiences all the shows i did all that you can see my mental breakdowns all of it so make sure you guys subscribe um i like doing these videos so you can see what it's really like during fashion week i think it's super like that's what i really want to show is what we go through because i think a lot of people think it's all just butterflies and it's not hard i'm here to tell you it's freaking hard so um yeah make sure you guys subscribe and i want to make sure all you guys are safe so leave down in the comments down below um, how you're doing during this quarantine. I may make, like, things to do while you're in quarantine or something. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna be trying to post at least once or twice a week. Um, so you guys aren't bored. Even though no one likes me. It's fine. It's fine! Don't worry about it. <laughs> Seriously, it's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. I get it. <clears throat> Anyways, if you guys want to follow me on TikTok, that'll be down below as well as my Instagram. So go and follow me. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.